It's time to review the Fortnite Battle Royale Collection Squad 3. Guys, me your host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's the third squad pack in the collection. It's Fortnite Wave 3. And we have some awesome new characters been added to the battle bus. Some awesome skins here that are just perfect for Halloween. So guys, without further ado, let's jump in and uh, let's take a look at who's included in this packaging. So let's go to the desk cam. So guys, this is Wave 3 of the Fortnite Battle Royale Squad Packs, and this is definitely one for Halloween. It's come out at the right times. You can grab, grab this currently on Amazon, but I do believe Smiths have got it in stock as well, according to their websites. And if we look, we do have four awesome new characters, including Dark Bomber, Deadfire, Sanctum, and Spider Knight. So these are by Epic Games, Fortnite, and Moose Toys. Uh, these are the Battle Royale collections. These are the two inch action figures and they are pretty cool. I like these ones. They're very collectible and they're dropping a lot of different skins. It's amazing. As you can see, they did release like a, a patriotic pack and they have got another pack down here which is uh, Halloween inspired. And I do believe I should be getting these very soon from Moose Toys. So I am very excited by that. Hopefully I should have these in hand very soon for review. And it does state down here that Dark Bomber, Deadfire, Sanctum and Spider Knight are the latest squad entering the Battle Royale collection. A minifigure line that is growing to a Royale sized roster with over 100 outfits. Every high quality poseable figure includes weapons, accessories and back bling. Whether you're going solo, duo or squad, you can collect enough to pack a battle bus. Uh, Look for rare, ultra rare and limited edition figures with the Battle Royale Collect Collection. You never know who's dropping next. Awesome. So guys, let's break these out of the battle bus and let's take them on an epic adventure. Alright guys, as you saw there were Dark Bomber, Deadfire, Sanctum and Spider Knight included in this collection. There's a bunch more dropping real soon as a part of Wave 3. I haven't seen much of Wave 3 yet in the UK, but I did grab this from Amazon.co.uk and apparently Smith's Toys have also got these in stock as well. I can imagine this being quite a popular item this Christmas as these costumes are pretty sick. These skins are very popular. I know Dark Bomb is a very popular one, and I know uh, the Deadfire ones are very popular. I haven't seen Sanctum before in-game, though. And of course, Spider Knight is always kicking about. So these are really cool. There's over a hundred of these to collect, guys. And um, they have different rarities, and they're just perfect to collect. So if, you're, if you're like me and you like, you're a bit of a completionist, these are quite fun to collect because they don't actually break the bank to get these either. This was just $14.99. So, I mean, that's perfect. It's almost pocket money um, sort of spending, which I like. So these are figures that I could have afforded when I was a kid. And again, this is just the... It's that it's, it's $14.99, but you're getting four figures. These, these figures normally run at a few pounds each. Um, actually I've got the details in front of me, the solo packs are four ninety nine, the duo pack is seven ninety nine, and then a squad pack is fourteen ninety nine. You can also get the play sets including the battle bus for thirty nine ninety nine, which is something I want coming this Christmas. But they are also available at Very and Amazon, um, as well as Smiths like I've mentioned. Was there anything else that I wanted to mention? I'm just looking at my little crypt cryptic sheet here. Uh, they are two inch figures. And uh, yeah, they're by Moose, Moose Toys. So guys, let's bring this out of the box. Three. So Sanctum doesn't have a back bling. That's interesting. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, figure sheet. So we do have all these different ones available now. Ooh, Cloak Star looks awesome and Omen looks cool too. I like the look of those two. Yeah, here's all the figures that are available so far. I believe these are the ones from the last wave and the current wave. Those two hopefully I should have in my hands very soon. Um, Heyman and the Hollowhead. They look awesome. Oh, Wukong looks amazing as well. I like him. The Scoundrel, Star Spangled Banner, Leviathan. And then of course Deadfire. Oh, Mullet Marauder as well. He looks badass. <laughs> So it's cool that you get a little tick sheet, I like that. 
Okay, so each of the little figures are little three inch, well, two inch figures, should we say? Very well detailed in the costuming and design. The heads can move from left to right, and the arms do lift forwards and backwards. Um, there's no way swivel and the legs are static. But each figure does come with his own little scythe, which also has a little nub on. So if you don't want to have it in his hand, you can have it on his back, just like in the video game. So then you can rock the, the gun. But as you see there, he does have it on the back, and vice versa, you can take the gun out of the hand, take the harvesting tool, put that in his hand so he's harvesting away, getting some raw materials to make his fort, and we can just pop the gun Oh, no, come on. We just pop his gun on his back, just like in the game. The gun will just sit on his back. And while he harvests. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Dark Bomber and the um, and Dead Fire and the other ones do come with their own back bling. So they won't have room to do that. Because <clears throat> they will have this piece of back bling here. Uh, now, back bling is basically a fancy word for backpack. And she comes with her uh, big evil unicorn head thing. I forgot the name of it. They do have names, all of these things, by the way. You can look look it up. Um, in fact, I do actually have some details here. Uh, so, Dark Bomber. Um, it's called the Dark Bag, is her back bling. It does have a name. It's the Dark Bag. And it's the Thunder Crash, is the name of the uh, harvesting tool. If I go back to Sanctum, I'll be able to tell you that... He does have a back bling piece, um, which was Dusk Wings or Swarm. Um, you could also get the character in in Dusk as well, but it doesn't actually have any form of named item for the actual harvesting tool. Oh, it does Moonrise. Moonrise is the name of the sanctum of the uh, harvesting tool. So that's pretty cool. Now that that was part of the Knight Coven set. And then of course we got Deadfire as well. He's another really cool character. Uh, a bit like a, he's the he's the basically the a recolor of the gunslinger. If I can get there we go, it's harvesting tool. And he does have his back bling as well, which is like a big chained box, which is pretty cool. There's he. Yeah. He's pretty cool. He's my favourite, I think, out of this pack. It just looks so cool with the fact that he's a gunslinger. Um, and his. This is not actually the scythe that goes with this by the looks of it. Because the, the actual one that came with it was called Longhorn. Um, this one is actually called the Dark Shard. The Dark Shard is among the epic harvesting tool skin. And this is called the Shackled Stone. Yeah, dead fire. Cool in the character name. And then finally, we've got Spider Knight. Again, he's got a back bling piece. And a harvesting tool. Now if we go to his collection here. So this is the Web Breaker, is his weapon. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, he's the Spider Knight. And it's the Spider Shield, is the name of his back bling. I wish at some point they would introduce actual shields. I would love that. So that when you're getting shot at, you could actually pull the shield up and take reduced damage. So how cool would it be to be able to like run in, run in the game and pull off your back bling and put it in front of you like a shield? You should be able to do it like when your health gets to a certain point, or um, there should be like, it could be like a really cool little update that it changed the game drastically. Yeah, that's a really cool figure as well. Alright, so let me get the, all these set up on the little display board here. And then I'll go to the desk cam where you guys can get up close person look at these figures. Alright guys, so here they are on our Halloween Dio board. And as you can see right here, we've got our first figure here. 
Um, he just looks so cool. I'm loving this figure. Yeah. Really, I'm loving this figure. I think it's such a cool design. I love the gunslinger idea as well. That's just so cool. Whoop. Bob him further down on the actual board. Yes, as you can see, the figures don't really need those big blue bases. I find that they stand pretty cool on their own. So, I am I like the way they look. What do you think, guys? Are you, are you uh, a fan of these figures? Let us know in the comments. And, of course, we've got the Spider Knight here as well. He looks just as cool. And of course, I move these two out of the way. Just further back there. <laughs> Gliding in, we have Sanctum. Again, he's another really cool figure to have in the collection. A vampire inspired coven character with big, like, nails and fangs. And of course, he's got his gun on his back as well. Just such a cool character. I think he's so awesome. And at the very back there, lighting the pumpkin for Halloween, <laughs> we have our very own Dark Bomber. She's a little bit more awkward stand given the fact that the pose that she's in, but you'll find after a few minutes of messing around with them that you will just find a comfortable spot where they will stand up. Admittedly, I am struggling with her right now. But eventually, they will, eventually you can get them to stand on their own. But for the, for the ones that are trouble to stand, that's why you have the bases. So don't worry about that. And again, the figure up close is pretty nice. Loving the way she looks. Very nice figure indeed. Which is your favourite, guys? That's why I stood her up there next to the little pumpkin. Oh no! She destroyed the pumpkin. Oh, the god, the pumpkin won't stand now. What have you done, Dark Boy? <laughs> Which one's your favourite, guys? Dark Bomber? Sanctum? Spider Knight. Oh, I did fire. Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. Which one's your favourite? Let us know. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, guys, please make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button if you're new around here. And let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. And thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye! <laughs>